What we want to talk about today is what to look for when you want to hire a lawyer in a claim against the cruise lines. There are several things. First of all, you need a lawyer who is experienced in claims against cruise lines. Not everyone is. Uh, one way to determine that is to go online, of course, and look at the uh, resume or the website of the lawyer. Um, but also look at the background of the lawyer. You know, anyone can say uh, that they represent passengers in, uh, against cruise lines, uh, but are they, uh, here are the questions to ask, are they board certified as a, uh, in Admiralty and Maritime Law? Uh, that's the law which applies to claims against cruise uh, lines and cruise ships. That's the first thing to ask. Second thing to ask, uh, is the lawyer also board certified as a civil trial lawyer? Um, the Florida Bar has board certification programs, 24 type certif uh, certification areas, and two of the areas are civil trial and admiralty and maritime. Civil trial means that they've tried a sufficient number of cases and that they are recognized by their peers, that is, judges and other lawyers, as uh, a, a good lawyer in that area, frankly. And then Admiralty and Maritime is the, again, is the law that applies to cruise ships. Those are two of the crucial questions you should ask. The other is whether the lawyer has ever worked for or represented the cruise lines, because that provides a good basis for that lawyer's knowledge about the cruise industry itself. I've been involved in the cruise industry for 35 years. I represented the cruise lines for the first 17 years, and then for the last 18 years, uh, we have brought claims against the cruise lines. The other thing to ask is whether the lawyer is located in Miami, Florida. The, um, the large cruise lines, uh, Carnival, Royal Caribbean, Celebrity, Norwegian, and there are some others, require that you sue them in Miami, Florida, no matter where the cruise ship was, no matter where you, the passenger, uh, live, and no matter where the accident occurred. It's all governed by the ticket, what's in the ticket. And there are terms and conditions in the ticket itself. Almost nobody gets a, an actual ticket anymore and the terms and conditions are actually online. Those are some of the things, some of the questions you should ask, I believe, uh, when you go to hire an attorney to represent you in a claim against the cruise lines. Thank you.